Those with insomnia, like me, long for sleep like this. In a few moments, you will embark on a pleasant and gentle journey of visualization that will take place within your mind. Instead, my brain gives me this. And come morning, it is not pretty. So I visited neurofeedback specialist, Danelle Noonan. I just can't stay asleep, Danelle. I can't stay asleep. We're gonna fix that, Shira. Neurofeedback has been around for probably since the 60s, like but the technology program, aspect, yeah. yeah, has definitely improved. Um, and this cap has likely been around since the 60s too, but it records the electrical activity of my brain. I'm really excited about this yes. part. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Right. Can you hold on to that. Here we go. Here we go. This is fun stuff. Yes. Good times. I, I'm okay. pretty sure Brian Sanders will be it. laughing right now. <laughs> For six minutes, I sit and stare at nothing while Danelle records my brain activity. The results will determine why I haven't been sleeping. The printout shows five different colors across my head. The colors represent the different types of electrical patterns or brain waves. Each serves a purpose to help cope with various situations too much or too little in any one area, and it can cause some problems. You have to work harder. Your brain is having to work very hard. In a perfect brain, it would be all green. Mine, almost everything but green, a clear indication of insomnia. So you're overactivated frontally. No wonder you can't sleep. <laughs> Because I'm thinking all the time. You are. You're way overactivated. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking all the time. So here I come in for my brain therapy. With the results, I'm able to start my neurofeedback sessions. We're training the front as well. Danelle sits me in front of a TV and puts electrodes on specific areas of my scalp and earlobes. These measure my brain waves. Now, if you watch the TV, you'll see it go bright or dim. Here's how it's working. The sensors on my head transmit brain activity to Danelle's computer. The computer deciphers the strengths and frequencies of my brain waves and then it converts the information into a game of sorts. My brain unconsciously controls the dimness, so when I'm not focused, the TV goes dim. When I refocus, my brain is rewarded with a bright picture again. What we're trying to do is give positive feedback for desired behavior. Okay. So when it's not the desired behavior, we're eliminating positive feedback. This game happens over and over again to reprogram and retrain my brain. By reading it, it's training it, like you work out a muscle. It is very much like working out a muscle. That's the analogy I like to use for people. The repetition of it, when we start to correct all these issues, it improves your mood, it improves your ability to emotionally be stable, it improves if you're super impulsive, it'll help you to be less impulsive, um, obviously improves your sleep, improves your motivation levels.